Hello everybody, welcome to today's tips and tricks video. Today I'm going to be talking about the dual floozy rolls, escort and consort. These rolls have the power to distract, and that's distracting quotations, another town member. Basically means they won't be able to do their night ability. This won't work for continuous abilities such as the jailers um, actually jailing somebody. However, it will work with the execution on the jailer. You'll be able to deny the arsonist any douses or setting on fires that he may ha want to do, or various other roles. But we'll go through that in a minute. So, I'm going to start with the escort. First thing I'm going to tell you about is not to roll block early on. In game modes such as Classic, most of the town is townies. So it's not going to help if you hinder the town by accidentally um, distracting a townie. So I would highly advise Night 1 and maybe even Night 2 not actually distracting anybody. However, after Night 1, you're going to want to make sure you listen to the chat, assuming you haven't been killed. <laughs> Listening to the chat is the best way to gain an insight into what your opponents are. You're going to have to do some detective work and finding out who you want to roadblock and who you want to stay away from. Overly aggressive players are probably either immune or a veteran, which is something you really don't want to be as an escort, as the escort is mostly threatened by serial killers and veterans. For instance, the serial killer will kill any escort who dares try to touch him, and the veteran will shoot any escort who visits him if he is on alert. If he's not on alert, well, you haven't really done much to him, so it's not really that bad for town, but you want to stay away from him, in case he is on alert. Now, the strength of the escort role is that they're very powerful late game. For instance, if there's four people, two um, townies, one mafia, one serial killer, if you should, say, vote out the serial killer that night, you can then roadblock the mafia so that you can't kill the following night, assuming you know who it is. The escort is the one of the best controlling presences in late game because of things like this. One trick you can do to prove that you're an escort is say, I will roadblock the mayor tonight, and then actually roadblock the mayor, who is hopefully revealed, and that'll prove your innocence. Sadly, this very rarely gets to work, as the mayor will probably be killed, but there's a nice little glitch going on in the moment, where the doctor can actually heal a revealed mayor, so that's pretty good. So that way, that's a way of proving your innocence, for now. However, um, if you need to prove your innocence to say a specific person late game, just say, I will roadblock you tonight. But, don't do this if they say, don't do it because that means they have a plan up their sleeve themselves. So that's something you want to keep an eye on. Another main strength of the escort is, aside from the jailer, it's the best anti-arsonist role in the game. Usually the arsonist is overpowered, like, I'm going to set you on fire, it's late game, you can't vote me out. However, if you continually distract them, they can't set anyone on fire. And then if you point out that you've been distracting them and nobody's been burnt, even though everyone's doused, they'll know that they're the arsonist and be able to lynch them out. It's a very um, surefire way of getting rid of an arsonist, which is why the escort is one of the best roles for this. This also works with the consort, too, if you're mafia trying to get rid of an arsonist. It's why the distractability is largely underestimated in the game. Right, so now I'll move on to the consort role. Now, the consort role is exactly the same as the escort. You can roadblock somebody at night, except you're also mafia. Now, this has the added bonus that you can work very well with a consigulaire. A consigulaire can tell you who somebody is. However, you have the added bonus of not being attacked by bodyguards. Say somebody's an out and proud investigator, they're likely to have doctors and bodyguards on them 24-7. Therefore, you can just say to the Mafia, Well, why don't we attack this other guy? He's not being protected. I'll just roadblock the investigator. That way, you've neutralised a threat that's probably very bad for you, and you're able to kill other townies. You've also got the threat of bodyguards and doctors out the way, which is a big thorn in the Mafia's side. And also, another advantage of being a consort is that as a Mafia member, you'll know when one of your team members have been tucked to jail. Now, if you know who the jailer is, you can roadblock the jailer, meaning they can't execute that member of the Mafia. This is handy for a while, because the next day it might move on to actually getting them lynched, at which point you may have a chance to talk your way out of it. Uh, same thing with the escort, be careful of veterans and, es and serial killers. They are not nice, they will kill you. <laughs> Good thing as a consort, is that you will always turn out as an investigator as either an escort or a consort. You can fake escort perfectly like this. It's probably the best anti-investigator thing to be as a mafia, as you can fake your all quite well. However, if you put as an escort as a consort, people will always be a bit dubious of you, but they can't outrightly say he's 100% mafia. The last thing a consort is really good with is if you know somebody's a doctor, and there's a mayor about, because mayors can apparently be healed by um, doctors now, if you know who the doctor is, roadblock the doctor while they're killing the mayor. It will stop this annoying glitch from happening, and you'll skewer a rather nasty threat to the Mafia. Finally, to a lesser extent, 
check out the chat, see if you can determine who people's roles are from what they're saying. Like if somebody's overly aggressive and you know they're not Mafia, because you'll know they're Mafia. They're probably something that's trying to get your attention, which is bad. So don't try to um, roll block them. Again, stay nice and quiet in the shadows. Finally, the last thing you should be aware of is that the consort can turn into a mafioso. So if you're going to bluff your role, make sure you time it well. Because if you know that somebody's going to die, say he's been jailed and you don't know who the jailer is, make sure you make it strategic who you distract that night. Say an investigator or a sheriff, if you suspect them. Because there's nothing worse than them saying you're a consort or an escort when in fact you're now a mafioso. Because if somebody gets you the next night and says, oh look, you now carry weapons, you must be a mafioso, you're dead. So just be careful of that. Okay, that's all for today, folks. Hopefully you're having a nice day. I'll see you another time. Goodbye.